It all started with a simple idea, trying to get people to come together to play music. It was back in 2022. One man took to social media to see if he could find some fellow musicians to play chamber music. And the response he got, a response that he got was overwhelming. The, the simple gathering destined for a greater vision, the creation of a full symphony orchestra with over 70 members. We are with this afternoon the man himself. This is Stephen Greifer. He's the co-founder and board president of Sodello, the Southern Delaware Orchestra. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, Welcome. thank you so much for having me. So, so we kind of said a little bit about how it started. Can you help? unfold for us how this <laughs> developed. Well, I played in a community orchestra up in New York before I moved down here. And I had picked up my violin for the first time in 30 years when I joined that orchestra. And the idea of a community orchestra where people could come and play and decide for themselves whether they were making the audition or not um, was really, it worked great up in New York. Um, I came down here with really modest expectations about continuing music post-COVID, yeah. and I just wanted someone to play duets or quartets with. So I used social media, being a social media guy myself, and we got 30 or so responses. And one of the people who responded was Eva Del Gallo, who is one of our co-founders. And she said, forget about the duets and the quartets with this kind of response why don't we start a string orchestra down here? Wow, and, and it has grown, hasn't it? We started off with about 24, 25 people in the orchestra performing in the first concert, and we grew modestly as we stayed a string ensemble, but it's in our bylaws and in our, our mission that we wanted to become a full symphony orchestra, and just two years later, we've become a full symphony orchestra. So we jumped from 40 people as a string orchestra to now 70 plus people as a full orchestra with strings, winds, brass, and percussion. Wow. What kind of people joined? You know, that's been one of the things that's been so much fun about this. All kinds of people have joined. We have high school all state players. We have doctors, we have lawyers, we have music teachers. We have a lot of people who are retired, but the age mix has been wonderful and the kinds of people that come, of course, we're all musicians and that's one thing that we have in common. Nice. So tell us about your upcoming performances. Well, it's very exciting to launch as a full symphony orchestra for the first time. We're playing two concerts this weekend for the first time. We've always played one concert on the weekend, but part of our mission as the Southern Delaware Orchestra is to really expand our geography beyond where we've started playing concerts in Lewis and in Rehoboth. So now we're going to play a concert in Ocean View this weekend, and then we're gonna really expand the size of our venue by going to Cape Henlopen High School on Sunday. So we're going from where we've sold out, and by the way, we've had a full audience and a sellout for all of our concerts wow. up to now. And we won't have that this weekend because again, we're going into a new geography and a bigger venue in Ocean View and Cape Henlopen High School has about a thousand seats. But with that said, we've sold many more tickets than we've ever sold in a weekend before, but we're glad to be able to welcome people to come to the door um, because we've been forced to turn people away in the past. Mm. Okay, so there you go, get your ticket now, get your ticket mm -hmm. now, get your mm -hmm. ticket now, don't wait. So do you feel this is uh, important to the community locally? You know, we think about community in a couple of different ways. The, the short answer is yes, but there's really three communities that we think it's important to. The first community is the orchestra itself. Right. And we are a community and we came together and we started off coming together to play music put a bunch of musicians together and they want to play for people. Um, so our second community really are the audiences that come to us. And many, many people have come to multiple concerts. A lot of the way that we get the word out is by word of mouth. So we're growing the community that way. And then it's also about educating the community about orchestral music. Um, in Southern Delaware, in our schools, we don't have string programs. We don't have orchestras. And one of the things that we think we can help do 
is raise awareness of this kind of music and show people that they're really going to love it when they come to see us. And they can come to see you. You have two opportunities this weekend. Give us the event details again. So on Saturday, we are playing at the Mariners uh, Church in uh, Ocean View. We're playing at 3 o'clock. And um, again, tickets available at the door, tickets available online. Um, and then we'll play the same program on Sunday at Cape Henlopen High School. The program itself is sort of amazing also. It's our summer program, so it's a mix of classical music as well as pop music. So in the first half of the program, we'll be playing music from Holst's The Planets. We're going to do Jupiter and Mars, which are two of the segments in that piece. We're going to be playing Hansen's Second Symphony, um, his, the second movement in that symphony, which was in E.T. because. Our, I'm sorry, I forgot to say that the, uh, the concept is out of this world because okay, yeah. we feel like we've really gone out of this world with our expansion, with our excitement, and that's the theme of the concert. So again, in the first half, we're playing classical music, although we do start with Thus Spoke Zarathustra uh, by Strauss, which is the fanfare from 2001 A Space Odyssey. So that's sort of a hybrid in the first part, which is classical. And then in the second part, we go to soundtracks from movies like E.T., like Superman, like <laughs> Apollo 13, <laughs> like Star Wars. And it's all things that people will be familiar with. Yeah. And that we program it that way because, again, we want the audiences to get excited about orchestral music, classical music, but also all the other things that we can do as an orchestra that may be a little bit more familiar. There you go. Oh, wow. Man. The Southern Delaware Orchestra. Stephen, thank you so much for coming in and Wonderful telling us talking. all about it. All right, well, thanks for having me. And I hope you guys will come to the concert <laughs> as well. Yeah. It's a rainy weekend.